life example that five or six people already died because of the this cancers and they they don't have any background any kind of the history related to the cancer but because of this kind of the tower because in a city a metro city we don't have a much space so people are using their apartment to build one tower and after that they are putting the antenna so such kind of the things are there so here the main thing is that we are going to utilize our antenna as a bio medical purpose so first thing we should know uh, the characteristics of a human being how much power we can absorb and how much power uh, that we can sustain so for that purpose otherwise it going to harm our body or sometime it going to damage completely so that is the another thing so here uh, this is the 30 to 30 gigahertz uh, sorry 30 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz is the micro uh, sorry millimeter wave antenna design is there and after 100 gigahertz generally people are calling it a terahertz so it will also work so next thing i am going to uh, give some uh, outlines that first things we must know the implants implants is nothing but the artificial design so this outline or my complete presentation is based on this outline and first thing I'm going to discuss the implants. This is the major part, electromagnetic interference. So suppose uh, if you see our mobile phone also have an antenna here suppose in our cell phone now here antenna is there that antenna is always a miniaturized version of pifa antenna that pifa so the thing is that pifa is nothing but the planner uh, i means inverted f antenna like that so here our antenna is there but Inside the mobile phone, we have a several electric components. At the same time, it is also working because whenever we are going to talk, it works as a suppose uh, digitally. And then after inside, we have our ICs or several kind of the functions are there that is we call as the PCB. Inside that, all the things are present. So they are going to convert our uh, Y signal to uh, some other signal. And for that purpose, we always require uh, uh, all the electronic circuitry. So the condition is that electromagnetic interference will happen whenever the two or more than two electrical component we are going to utilize at that time. This automatically this will come. So we also have a electromagnetic compatibility. So before we are going to insert it, we have to also check the electromagnetic compatibility of our body system because we are going to insert this antenna system in our body. So like that in our mobile system, we are checking each and every devices. What is the electromagnetic interference and what is the cause of other devices? What is the compatibility of that device to other device? So all the things we are checking after that, we are going to manufacture the mobile. Same thing like for biomedical application, we must check our antenna whatever we are going to design we must check it and after that we are going to put inside the body so there is a two way either you can go for the in body or on body means you see this is our body so here you can put the antenna also or inside the body you can put the antenna several researchers are also working for suppose the heart failure is there so by putting the small antenna that is uh, in the capsule format we can also utilize and whenever it is required by using our mobile phone, we give the pulse. So in the heart failure, sometimes the, all the blockage are there. So whenever we are giving a sudden shock, so what happened, it will work. So this is the uh, example of in body and on body utilization of antennas. After that, we have a framework and development. So the framework developments inside that here, I'm going to discuss uh, each and every component that is related to antennas because we must know the gain of the antenna, the input reflection coefficient, the radiation efficiency. After that, the tissues, tissue have their own dielectric constant 
they are uh, whatever the behavior all the things i am going to discuss here after that i am going to just give one example of in body antenna so you can design once we know we can design the antenna for any purpose either inside the body or outside the body and after that if time is there i will go for the hands on experiment uh, hands on experience by using the hfss or csd whatever you, you want you can utilize this one so now the first part i am going to start the implants so first thing you have to know the tissue or implants is nothing but we are going to in, uh, build a tissue artificial tissue or any object okay so here in the implant is nothing but the man made a medical device so what is the uh, work for making the man made medical devices first thing is that we are going to replace a missing biological structure sometime if you see in our mouth sometime uh, the uh, something is happened so for that purpose we are going to use this one the next thing is that sub, uh, support a dynoid biological structure like the teeth it is uh, after 30 or 40 or maybe 50 years that it is going to dynoid for that purpose we are also going to utilize or any other purpose also the third thing is that we are enhance an existing biological structure suppose uh, we want to uh, give us some uh, kind of the freedom more freedom of uh, uh, nowadays if you think about that uh, uh, like artificial intelligence already came after that iot already came machine learning all the things already came so we have to also do some a uh, neuro kind of the work so that we can put a chip in our brain now the tesla is also working and they also uh, previous 3 or 4 months before they have already said that now we have completed so whenever they are going to put the chip inside our brain our brain will work fast like artificial intelligence otherwise what happen after 10 to 15 years uh, they are going to capture uh, the complete things so for controlling this one we can also do something like that we are also Uh, do a work in the faster manner so tesla is, uh, sorry uh, yeah tesla that uh, that company is also working for the uh, neurological kind of the thing so that is nothing but the enhancing the performance of human being now the uh, three things here we have to implement like that first thing we know the biomedical material tissues in which tissue we are going to uh utilize our antenna so each and every one uh, we all know that whenever we are going to design a any antenna first thing is that we must know the dielectric concept of that material so first thing is that suppose we have a dielectric material like fr4 4.4 or rt derived we have a variant kind of the things like a 10.2 or 8 whatever we want we can purchase so dielectric constant is also a very uh of uh, means whenever we are going to design we must know the dielectric constant and after that then after we have a active implant electronics kind of the instrument so that we are going to insert the antenna antenna is nothing but we are not going to design the antenna like suppose we uh, we are as a microwave engineer so we have designed only antenna the remaining kind of the things like filter we can also design after that we need a amplifier after that we need a modulator demodulator all the things are our colleague they are going to do because all the things related to electronics so this is known as the active implant electronics whatever the things inside this pcb is there and here our antenna. so uh, that is also important part so now here here uh, we can see some of the artificial design see here uh, this one is the artificial okay here also this is uh, I, uh, this one is the our original one and this is our uh, artificial design here you can see directly this is our original one this one is also artificial design 
here going to work on the passive so these all are the things is nothing but the passive yeah in here we have uh, some active devices so uh, by using the transmitter or receiver we can control it but here we don't have any kind of the uh, controlling system here also we don't have uh, any kind of the thing so now we are going to do uh, active implants after that some uh, some of the things are also there like bio implants that is related to the biomaterial tissues or a skin or cornea kind of the things after that here the dental implant so artificial tooth and after that we have a orthopedic implant so that is the correction and the affected joints so like that we have so these are the some of the example also artificial heart like that uh, these are the ventilator so now uh, we are also in because of the corona pandemic we are facing a such kind of the huge shortage of ventilator because we all know that these are working in terms of the mechanical so and also we know that the pressure of the human being so that we can provide if the, it depends on also the health monitoring by using the ai we can also make it it advance and uh, by giving a only single person to the single when uh, ventilator we can give same ventilator to three or four persons as per the requirement of that person because the particular requirement of child or some age between the 30 and 40 and old age is always different and also depends on the condition of the patient so based on that we are going to utilize the complete efficiency of this ventilator by using the ai and in that antenna is mandatory so these are the some of the examples all the things so these are the some of the uh, medical devices a uh, definition like uh, some of the implant and machine so this is not much useful so some of the classification are there so some in the case one we have uh, some classification like the general controls after that uh, general control with special controls uh, such as infusion pumps and surgical Drafts. After that, we have a third in the general control and pre-market approval. So that is whenever you are going to design, a, uh, suppose a ventilator, you are going to design that is based on the artificial intelligence. And uh, in that, we are utilizing our smart antenna. So here, the approval is always required. Otherwise, uh, it is uh, not mandatory for the medical purpose. So these are the four kind of the things. Uh, the first thing is that a uh, confident uh, these things are there after that we have a integrity then after availability and then after accountability so these four things we must know for the security purpose now so uh, this is the sum of the implantable medical system so see here uh, this is a uh, used by the laptop so here we have a uh, id leads this is the human being and we are using uh, this one to detect the health condition of the human being so by using all the wire we can also replace by using the our antenna we can put here antenna inside the and we can directly monitor all the like a heartbeat and each and everything in our system so there is no uses of wire so this is the like the this is also the patient ward number is also there suppose if patient have some uh, any kind of the problem they will put uh, some uh, mechanism is there so here if they will put automatically it will glow and it automatically inform to the nurses so uh, they will come and they will see what happened to the patient so like that we can also make the smart but see the each and everything antenna is always required otherwise we are not going for the wireless communication so these are the some of the device uh, some of the platform are there uh, like the development platform and uh, this is the communication protocol and modules after that we have a sensing modules then after facing modules wireless battery rechargeable modules and after that we have a lead impedance and measurement module and these are the all 
the complete uh, arrangement of the design purpose and the what is the main thing is that first of all suppose we are the customer so first thing is that we have a as a researcher this is the for customer point of view as a researcher first of all you have to give the idea or concept okay do the research after that we go for the specification after that we go for the design review and then after we must design then after we go for the prototype suppose uh, we are going to design any antenna for the biomedical application so first thing we must have an idea what kind of the antenna we are going to design after that what are the specification that is nothing but the what is the dialectic concept for which purpose we are going to design the antenna and what is our design like i have already given the example of pfa antenna so that is all comes under the miniaturized version of antenna because in our body or on body we can't put a, a like a 40 by 40 mm antenna we always utilize a, a like a millimeter wave antenna or micro wave antenna so the height length and width each and everything is going to matter after that we have uh, some uh, verification after that uh, first of all first thing is that whenever you are going to design so first we have to go for the small production and after that we are going to do the validation like nowadays also we are uh, going for the theory after that we are going to design some antenna for application purpose after that we are going to make a uh, prototype the thing uh, maximum one or two piece after that by connecting the coaxial probe we are going to do the validation in the anechoic chamber by using the vector network analyzer and then if all the things are good after that we are going to write the paper and we are going to publish the paper so like that here in the industry also first first of all the thing is the process in research also we are doing same kind of the things in industry purpose also we are doing the same kind of the thing first thing is that we must know for which purpose we are going to design the antenna so the next the part 2 is that is also important because if see uh, the part 2 i said that electromagnetic interference is a most important part because in our human body also we have a a uh, several things are uh, like uh, we have uh, our uh, this uh, suppose we have a uh, some kind of the uh, tissue suppose uh, muscles the dielectric constant of muscles is vary from 56 to uh, 48 dielectric constant of the muscles like that we have a uh, blood the dielectric constant also 45 to 63 it varies like fat the dielectric constant also varies from of 4.6 to 5.5 nerves also have so all the things in our body have a different different dielectric constant and we know that whenever we are going to design the antenna if uh, we have uh, remember that first thing is that we have to choose the excitation mechanism either we are going for the coaxial feed or we are going for the microstrip feed the things like that whenever we are going to design the antenna either we go for the electric coupling or magnetic coupling so whenever we are going to utilize the coaxial the electric field are more like that and the magnetic field are less but it depends uh, as per uses we can reduce the electric field we can increase the magnetic field so this is the uh, electric field flow of the electric field in the coax and the, suppose this is the coax and this is the rotation of the magnetic field in the coaxial field so we can reduce either magnetic or either electric it is not like in the theory it is already given that coaxial probe gives the strong electric field but we can also reduce the strong electric field and we can provide the strong magnetic field it is also possible so like that here i am going to discuss the electromagnetic interference between the body so why i am given the example because the tissue like i already given the some of the example of dielectric constant like muscle we have a 42 to 56 dielectrons blood have a different dielectric constants fat have different dielectric constant nerves have different dielectric like that we have a various dielectric constant in our body system 
so whenever the mismatch is there it means someone will act as a ground in between someone will act as the radiator and after that it will radiate so that is the problem so the things like that we have to select a uh, those material which is suitable for our body and uh, we need also insulation between the ground plane and our radiating patch so uh, so for that purpose i am going to discuss the electromagnetic interference see here and this is uh, the old tv okay uh, so generally at the same time uh, this guy will doing some work based on the electric appliance okay this one doing on some um, means he is watching some tv program but connection is not coming and this guy is talking uh, by using the various different different mobile system so one thing is that all the things is going to combine and one thing we should remember that in the electromagnetic electric plus a magnetic field is there so whenever electric field is there electric field is nothing but the suppose we have a any wire see here this is the electric field is there so whenever we are going for the such kind of the a uh, value electric field and suppose we have a dipole kind of the antenna this is plus and this is minus automatically it will alternate this first plus then after means plus minus minus plus like that so whenever such kind of the uh, combination is there and if anything in round manners and this always we have the acceleration or deceleration of charges at that time the electromagnetic field will generate so here this guy is working in some uh, other way but using the electric only the electric but here it is converted by the electric and magnetic field by using this tv inside that we have uh, some arrangement and this guy also directly given the electromagnetic so all the things are going to interface each other because we are not testing whenever we are going to design any tv we are testing only compatibility inside the components available in the tv we are not going to uh, simulate or we are not going to consider such kind of the uh, disturbance that the outside of our the tv so all the things which going to affect and that is why uh he is doing something in the tv because the signal is not coming because of the disturbance of this electric field and disturbance of this one so these are the uh, some of the example so now so what is the uh, electromagnetic interference this is nothing but the unwanted electromagnetic energy that disturb the proper functioning of an electronic devices so here the example is already given uh, like that this energy from device one either propagate through the air and electromagnetic radiation or coupled into or conducted along io or cables of another device anything is present in terms of the electric suppose we are going to uh, uh, see here also we have a in terms of the electric automatically magnetic field will generate suppose we have a magnetic automatic electric field will generate this already proven by the maxwell equation electromagnetic field so so these are the such conditions in that we have a uh, some problem in the this one but what happen in our heart also so here uh, okay so first thing uh, we have a, a three different uh, we are just uh, dividing here a three different a category inside that we have a sub category also first thing is that we have a source of emi then after we have a duration of emi and then after we have a bandwidth of emi so first the source of emi either naturally coming or the man made emi naturally coming is nothing but the lighting kind of the thing it always comes under the yeah, this kind of the emi and then after we have a some man made like the person is doing a some other work uh, in the previous diagram uh, you can see this is nothing but the man made the next one the duration of emi so it is a big problem is also that because the duration is also accounted in terms of the continuous or impulse so here the continuous is nothing but the suppose you are going to apply a electric field uh, so it will 
automatically go to the continuous like that and sometimes the impulse kind of the things will come like a spike at a certain amount of time so uh, these are the some of the uh, duration of uh, interference of emi and after that we have a bandwidth okay the third thing is that bandwidth also the one is come narrow band and the another one is also comes under the broadband kind of the thing so these are the some of the uh, uh, different category of emi and i also said that see the, the nature of the emi is like that we have a electric field component and after that we have a magnetic field component and it always depends on a frequency whatever the voltage we are going uh, we are giving after that whatever the distance it is going to travel because we all know that um, in the mobile communication suppose uh, sometime we don't have a tower in our cell means signal we don't have what happened whenever you are going to the far away from the any a base tower so what happened you are going to receive a very uh, less signal why this happened because of the some of the reflection scattering diffraction kind of the things is happened that is why uh, we are not going to receive the signal so for that purpose the distance is always mandatory so see here the distance is there that is why people are using the hexagonal cell for the towering system and they are fixing their tower and they are giving the sum range so that the customer will use uh, their uh, network now the the next thing is that current so the voltage and current is also the mandatory kind of the things and the the next thing is that the power how much power you are going to provide and based on that uh, we are going to identify the uh, distance of the signal so uh, these are the four different things so now if you see here we have a of radio frequency radiation like nothing but the mobile phone and after that we have a c a electromagnetic any device this is nothing but the tv it will also affect and this our heart it also affect uh, because it is also the proven that whenever you are going to talk a more than 20 minutes in our mobile phone after that the one degree of temperature of that part of which part our body is there automatically increase before if you want you can do it also before the uh, talking and after 20 minutes of automatically one degree of temperature is increase because of the radiation so it also affect our uh, human being any tissue also affect and it also affect the some of the electronic devices so that comes under the electromagnetic interference so uh, see here this is the sum of the uh, principle of the electromagnetic the first thing is that we have a source source is anything any electric that is comes under the source after that we have a inductive coil and then after it goes to the a uh, conductive and then after it uh, here we have a uh, some capacity uh, sorry uh, capacitive kind of the thing and after that the victim is nothing but the either um, any electronic devices or any human being that comes under the a victim and this is because of the wireless so this one is the radiative so uh, we here uh, this is the suppose we have a emc source suppose device 1 and after that we have a device 2 so here this uh, this is the in the current form we can directly observe from here and the radiative is nothing but the going to couple the emc so uh, we can see the first one is the source and another one is the sinks i mean it is going to absorb so like that the first thing is that uh, we have a first one inductive inductive is nothing but the a magnetic coupling so what i said that whenever we have a electric uh, like the voltage that is with respect to time it will vary if it will vary and whenever we are going to provide in uh, inside of inductive kind of the things automatically it will convert or give the electromagnetic okay so the next thing is that we have a capacitive a coupling so the capacitive coupling is that when a changing voltage in the source capacitive transfer a charge to a victim victim is nothing but the either electronic any electronic source or us after that we have a 
कंडक्शन और कंडक्टिव सो द कंडक्ट कंडक्टिव कपलिंग सी हियर दिस इज आल्सो द कंडक्टिव कपलिंग अकर्स व्हेन ईएमआई इमिशन आर पास अलोंग द कंडक्टर्स दैट इज नथिंग बट द वायर्स एंड केबल्स कनेक्टिंग टू द सोर्स ऑफ ईएमआई एंड रिसीवर टू टुगेदर सो दिस इज नथिंग बट द पाथ ऑफ द सोर्स एंड सिंक दिस इज द सोर्स एंड दिस इज द रिसीवर and then after this is the uh, radiation happens in the wireless so interference is nothing but the emitted or radiated via space to the receiver so the first thing this is the uh, wired connection and this is the wireless connection but it always happen either you can go for the wireless and wire so these are the uh, some of the mechanism of emi coupling now we have a next one electromagnetic interference and compatibility so a uh, emi standard can be said to be a part of regulatory standard that is called as the electromagnetic compatibility so uh, these are the some of the theory like that it contains a list of the performance standards that devices must meet to show that they are able to coexist with other devices and platform means the theory is like that whenever we are going to uh, use uh, any other device suppose here the source is there and here the sink is there so uh, suppose here i am going to use uh, any ic here i am going to use any transistor so between these two we have to give us some kind of the arrangement like the shielding or any other thing so that whatever the radiated part from this uh, device is that it will not going to damage uh, this device like that uh, suppose the power of this ic is more compared to here or uh, some transistor so what it we have like that it becomes the source and this one becomes the sink so like that uh, we have to manage like the some of the shielding kind of the thing so that we can generally avoid the thing and a device is compatible with uh, like that no interference is caused its electromagnetic environment and it doesn't emits a level of em energy that cause electromagnetic interference in the other devices like that a victim so that is why uh, here if you see this is a known as a victim and this is known as a source so uh, between this we have to put the insulation so that we can avoid the either this wireless radiation or wired both we can avoid by putting the proper insulation so whenever uh, if you go and see the pcb design one coated is there on the pcb like green color some other color so that is nothing but the coating to avoid the uh, emi effect so uh, this is the some of kind of the emc like electromagnetic compatibility uh, so if you see uh, we have a emission and immunity immunity nothing but the susceptibility so here the emission okay and here the susceptibility here the going uh, it arrow indicates that it is going it means it is act as the source and this is act as the sinks or receiver so we also have a like conducted and radiated here same we have so now uh, some of the emc sources of interference like that we have a uh, this uh, internal uh, or we call as the intentional radiators like a radio or tv station remote control or our cell phone kind of the things on intentional radiators is nothing but the we have a digital electronic microwave ovens appliance some electronic appliance or electrical appliance lamps dimmer kind of the things are the source of emc so for the medical purpose see here we have a icu each and every one we know that icu we have a mri kind of the scan so all the things we are going to utilize a biomedical uh, application so for that purpose we must know the effect of this uh, emi means electromagnetic interference and the, uh, what is the compatibility emc so we must know all the, the things and here the electrostatic discharge is also available so it it also create a some kind of the problem so whenever we are going to design uh, any biomedical application we must know the characteristics of emc and emi of our device 
so these are the some of the uh, pictoria representation so we can see that uh, this is our antenna or radio transmitter this is radio re receiver so uh, generally what uh, what the things are there uh, we think about that whenever we are going to give power how much power we are going to give same thing will come to the receiver side but it is not possible because of the rf disturbance so this is the some kind of the dis disturbance is there uh, generally line of sight communication is not possible nowadays uh, that is why we are uh, considering the losses in the, the form of the reflection refraction and diffraction so now the some of the emc standards are there that is given by the uh, some fcc or iec kind of the thing and uh, now this is the uh, given by the electrostatic discharge so this is the standard like the fcc federal communication commission have already given some uh, regulation for the wireless but whenever you are going to utilize the same thing in uh, for medical application we have another standard that is known as the iec international electrotechnical commission so for that purpose uh, see here these all the things are given so if anyone want they can go and just download this pdf file and they can read so uh, these are the uh, given for the compatibility of the uh, device to device so now this, uh, this is some of the approved given by the uh, like fcc or iec so these are the some of the uh, radiated emission limits and after that what is the rf humidity fields so we are much uh, more interested about these all the radiated emission limits and we are also more interested to know the rf humidity field because just think about that whenever we are going to design a antenna suppose we are going to put inside our body and after that sometime because nowadays the mobile phone are common so that person is also going to use the mobile phone then what happened so first of all we, we must know the all the characteristics all the rule and regulation so that our body will also not going to damage and whatever we are going to insert inside our body that biomedical antenna or outside our body so that will work without any disturbance so first thing we must know the emc and emi so these are the some of the medical standards and regulation like x ray and some of the these are the okay these are the some of the uh, things and after that uh, see this is the standards like rf radiated immunity and radiated magnetic immunity like that so uh, see one of the data is there uh, whenever uh, we are going to utilize the mobile phone so what is the power okay analog cellular what is the power is see here uh, this is watt 0.6 only watt is power is there 0.6 also so gsm also 0.6 what is the frequency range i also said that the power frequency is also uh, whenever suppose you are going to give a low power it will not go a far but it will go a near field kind of the thing so power is always mandatory in our antenna system so after that these are the some of the um, uh, vivo st studies like that they have given the in the health canada then after this one inverse and after that this one us fda so these are the things they have given what is the effect if you are giving the power 0.6 if the frequency is 8.28 so what is the health condition so it will not affect but whenever you are see here this pcs if you are giving a same power but just you are just increasing the frequency so here uh, by university of this one oh, oh, yeah, that study that uh, it affect the 0.6% and here also some of the so they uh, like that they are doing the some of the study of the some of the university what is the effect on the mobile phone so after that see uh, we have a some of the kind of the uh, here we all know that now what they in the mall and each and every one we have a some kind of the mri scanner here uh, we have a like the we are doing some scanning purpose so uh, this is for the uh, brain uh, scanning the brain and this is the whole body scanner whenever you are going to pass through this gate your body will scan like that complete so uh, this is the effect of that one okay 
so these are the some of the data what is the frequency modulation after that carrier frequency what is the magnetic field strength that is also important part whenever we are going to utilize the human body and what is the effect okay so all the things are given here in the data and they have already studied then after uh, in any mall if they are going to install such kind of the things uh, if they want to do it you have they have to first uh, understand the effect on human body and after that they do it so these are the some of the study now see here the the thing like that uh, how much field attenuation does the human body provide so this is the important question whenever you, uh, we are going to design the antenna also first thing we should know how much field attenuation does the human body provide so i already said that it is depend on the human body how much close they are if we are much closer it will affect if we are far away from this this system it will not affect so attenuation by a human body uh, it is not a, uh, like that there are no measurement kind of the things or modeling uh, what uh, reported because it always vary suppose uh, you are here suppose if you are here so the effect is less you see this is nothing but the electromagnetic radiation so here that radiation coming up to here but it will not uh, go to the here suppose if i am going to stand here it will not affect so always depends on the distance and the power and the frequency always the three things are also mentioned so uh, this is the some of the uh, like uh, study like rf field attenuation versus body penetration so whenever we i also said that in the starting of this topic that rf uh, field or whatever the electric field uh, we are giving or uh, in in the form of the time varying voltage so all the things always matters and frequency also matters powers will also matter based on the frequency and power the electric field strength will more and less and after that the penetration of the human being so this graph if you see this is in terms of the centimeter of the human body and this is the electric field strength so starting from 0.01 to a 1 and here if you see the distance in the centimeter that penetration in the centimeter goes to the 0 to 6 so first thing you if you observe that if the frequency is less like in the terms of 13.56 megahertz and if you see the graph see the graph is like that it means that frequency is not going to affect us see the graph is going to going to um, means that is not going to affect in our human body whenever uh, the penetration is like that and whenever we are going to increase uh, that see uh, that uh, like the going to the megahertz to the giga like uh, 5.2 so see like that up to 3.5 okay after that suppose we are going to increase the frequency band 5.8 giga so the penetration is like that a 2.5 approximately 2.5 cm penetration is happened by the electromagnetic wave and if you think about that if your frequency is megahertz it will not affect see the graph is going to going to going to i don't know uh, where it is going so like that we can study and then after we are going to utilize the antenna so the powering system of antenna is always a most important part otherwise it will damage our body in place of it is going for the good purpose it is uh, destroy the some part of the body so better to we have to know the penetration of the body uh, with respect to rf field with respect to power and with respect to the tissue also is meant so these are the some of the standards so here are uh, some of the radio standard that is going to implant like the first is uh, based on the frequency band okay uh, so 9 to 315 kilohertz that is going for, uh, that is utilizing in the U european union medical purpose after that uh, these are the some of the ism band after that this is also some of the ism band so uh, generally it is going to utilize in the rf id frequency so like that uh, we can go for the 5.8 gigahertz but now what day if you think about that if you go for the millimeter wave uh, frequency then think about that what is the uh, effect on the human body
so uh, these are the some um, some kind of the things now the next one is that we have a, a radio extender and these are the some of the uh, medical devices like 92315 and then after this megahertz go to the 5.8 gigahertz so these are the uh, some of the standard given by the european union and they have a uh, some data sheet uh, so and this is the federal communication uh, commission regulation and they have given some of the a uh, name of some of the standard uh, so we can uh, if they have given 95 i it means the walking frequency is a 402 405 megahertz if they have given standard like 15.247 it means it is walking to 5.8 gigahertz like that some of the standard given by fcc and after that some european union so the the third part is that first part we know the uh, in which part of our body we are going to implant that is nothing but the implanted antennas next we we know the what is the electromagnetic interference and what is the compatibility because in our body we have a different different dielectric constant depends on the different different uh, like that uh, a tissues so that is comes under the muscles also blood also fat also nerves also so these have a different different dielectric constant so first we must know the compatibility between the uh like in terms of the electronic we know the compatibility between the electronic and electronic devices in terms of in our body we have a different different dielectric constant so we should know the each and everything and then after we should design otherwise inside the body it will also some part of our body will act as the sink some part of our body act as the uh, like source so whenever we are going to uh, suppose i am going to just give one example suppose i am going to design one antenna see this is the patch antenna okay and here by giving a some small distance some i am not touching and just i am giving a small distance between these two if you see here this is the suppose uh, this is patch antenna by using some gap i am going to give a some kind of the another a uh, material that is also conducting and here if i am going to give a some kind of the another conducting material and whenever i am going to excite this antenna automatically by using the uh, these things uh, electric field because in the micro strip the electric field like that okay so automatically it will going to couple this um, material that is also a some a different kind of the uh, that here also automatically it is going to couple this one also so it behaves like that this is automatically source and this will also becomes a source and it will damage here suppose if anything is available like the uh, we call as the victim or sink so it will going to damage so first thing is that we must know the electromagnetic compatibility so that is why um, i uh, i have discussed here the electromagnetic compatibility now the next thing is that in the third part we have a framework and development so in that we all know that the wireless biotelemetry nowadays uh, it is using because in the um, in our uh, rural area uh, it is not possible to a doctor go and do all the things so now they are using the a biotelemetry kind of the thing so that they can uh, monitor you and they can give a uh, whatever the required or uh, any human being based on their condition medical condition so here if you see in the biomedical device uh, here suppose if i am going to place one antenna okay so that is based on the rfid tag Uh, that is comes under the active rfid or passive rfid both kind of the things it will come suppose i am going to utilize a passive rfid so uh, if you think about that passive uh, nothing is uh, outside we are going to provide means uh, we don't require any power mechanism we don't require any other kind of the thing but whenever we are going to utilize a active kind of the things at that time in the active we must need a power system so that we can give the uh, power of that uh, active rfid and they will uh, radiate so uh, these are the some of the things are there we have to know while we are designing 
so see uh, this is the health center okay this is the uh, our internet our base station is nothing but our mobile phone and here some of the wireless is nothing but the channel propagation here the human body so now uh, there are the two ways i also said that first thing you should directly give the instruction okay you have to do because um, you have a uh, some problem so you have to take this medicine uh, like that we are going to do or suppose this person is uh, suffering from heart attack or some other kind of the thing so we can put our biomedical antenna inside that one okay and we by using our mobile phone we can control it so this is this is the uh, two ways either in body inside the body or by putting the on body uh, we can track this human suppose he is suffering from heart attack but he have a uh, some problem for that purpose we are not going to put inside the antenna so we by using the rfid tag we can track uh, on body by not damaging any kind of the things so there, there is the two ways to implement our the biomedical antenna first thing is we can inbuilt inside second thing on body like that so this is the some of the pictorial representation so the next thing antenna is in presence of human body so now uh, we have to do like that the first thing is that what is our goal to do antenna in body and on body so first thing is that to better understand antenna performance in the presence of human body second thing is that the present strategy to achieve the desired antenna performance the third thing is that to introduce the modeling methods and computational tools used in the design process then after we have to review existing human models we have and we also have a phantoms so that we can do it and because here we have a several kind of the body structure similar kind of the model so we can do it then after describe the current measurement issues of in body antenna that is a more complicated part whenever you are going to inserting the antenna inside the body you must know all these things after that to present the current state of the art for implantable antenna so these are the because you are inserting the antenna it always uh, suppose it will going to affect adverse so what happens uh, it going to damage the human body so better to first we must understand in which body part we are going to utilize what is the electromagnetic compatibility and then after what is the design procedure of that antenna so uh, here uh, we have a uh, some of the like that a uh, microwave and biological tissues we have i said that a uh, different different tissues have different different dielectric constant so we also have a theoretical approach okay and we can also do the um, like that a uh, microwave and biological issue that, then after we have a frequency range used in biotelemetry and defined by the international organism are comparable to the size of human body in terms of the wavelength either you can uh, see uh, suppose you are going to insert your antenna as a like so you have to use a millimeter wave kind of the thing suppose you are going to use a rfid kind of the thing so for the micro antenna is uh, more than sufficient after that we have a uh, like the size implies a uh, microscopic electrical effect after that we have a like induction of dipolar polarization alignment of existing dipole and the movement of the free charge so i always um, all, always uh, sorry uh, i said that we need always a lambda by 2 a size of the antenna so that we can excite or we uh, one thing is that we should know that whatever you are going to give a power here okay so same thing is going to observe by the source suppose and also the impedance uh, in characteristic impedance or input impedance is always match, match with the source impedance then after we are going to transfer the maximum power otherwise some power will reflect back so these things are mandatory and the movement of free charge also because we are using a time varying voltage so here uh, we have to 
uh, know the uh, the movement of free charge so then after we have a uh, some uh, mathematical equation so tissue dielectric property how we are going to find the electrical permittivity we know that and then after uh, the conductivity also and after that a biological tissue define the interaction between it and em field that is present so this is the uh, formula with respect to uh, omega and time okay so for homogeneous isotropic linear medium absolutely permittivity and conductivity can be defined by this one so this is the uh, free space and after that this is the uh, like that uh, here uh, this is the conductivity and this is the permittivity so then after we have uh, another equations so uh, these are the all the relative effective permittivity so this uh, after that we can calculate by using this one we have also relative uh, conductivity like uh, sigma dash e equal to uh, this is the like omega epsilon not and epsilon r double dash so uh, this double dash is also represent we can call as the complex effective permittivity and we know that uh, this is the equation like that uh, so epsilon not equal to Eps uh, epsilon e dash j after that is nothing but the complex and here we have a sigma by omega epsilon not so the main thing is that the lossy and lossless medium okay so the tan del is a uh, represent a loss tangent so which the medium can be said to be lossy uh, it corresponds to the relationship between the imaginary part and the real part of the complex permittivity so tan del equal to uh, see here uh, we have a double dash effective and we have a uh, only single dash that is related to the uh, real part this one related to the imaginary part so now this is also we have a effective wavelength of the medium at angular frequency omega so this is the formula for only a real part we are interested to calculate we are not interested to calculate for the imaginary part so uh, these are the some of the theory okay em uh, propagation is a biological tissue presents higher attenuation rate due to the losses the medium gives right to so for that purpose we have to calculate each and everything after that we are going to apply so the reflected field appears the interference tissue at the air body interference increasing the complexity of the predicting the em behavior of an antenna in a realistic scenario within or close to the human body so uh, these are the because i also said that uh, some dielectric if the dielectric of the material is changes automatically the em behavior of the electromagnetic field will also change because the different different dielectric have their own property sometime if you are going to utilize uh, suppose uh, 500 the dielectric constant of any material so it acts as the filter kind of the thing it will not radiate because the free electrons are not there such kind of the material uh, that have dielectric constant or permittivity a uh, greater than 500 those who are the less than 100 so we can utilize because the free electrons are more all the things based on the electric field if the free in electrons are not more it will act as a filter and if it is more it acts as the antenna so the next is also we have uh, some biological effects like the uh, biological effects of rf radiation can be divided into the thermal and non-thermal the first the rf field in the frequency range like of 1 megahertz to 10 gigahertz and the em energy is absorbed by the tissue leading to a possible temperature increases i also said that whenever uh, uh, we are going to utilize our mobile phone after 20 minutes the temperature of the that portion of our body part will increase one degree so here also whenever you are going to utilize the rf frequency like our mobile have a 2.3 gigahertz uh, frequency band so that is why here also it falls under the same range it goes to the one me uh, megahertz to 10 gigahertz so these are the uh, em energy how much going to absorb by the our tissue and what is the possibility temperature increases then after we have a uh, like the some oscillatory behavior is also there 
special orient, uh, orientation of bipolar molecules and mainly the uh, water in biological tissue. So the, see the things like that here the theory is like non-thermal effect and thermal effect. So whenever we are going to utilize the microwave oven, if we are going to put our food, so what happens in the microwave oven, it is going to just uh, heated the water molecules. So that is why after some time, if you touch, uh, suppose you are uh, going to use uh, some kind of the puff. So inside that, whenever the water molecules are present, that part is going to heat and that part is going to excite. Remaining part, it is not going to touch by the microwave. So here they are just saying like that because of the uh, oscillatory modulation of the special orientation of bipolar molecule, what mainly water in a biological. So we all know that in the microwave frequency rate, only it is going to heat by the water. Okay, uh, in the blood, we have also have a water. Uh, in the, if, uh, if, if you want, you can just put uh, any puff inside the microwave oven and after that, if you open that one. So if you see the heated part is only whenever the water molecules are there. So here also, suppose we are going to uh, use our uh, antenna inside our human body. So our complete human body is the presence of water. So whenever the water is there, it is going to excite and it is going to destroy that portion. So for that purpose, it, we also know that the effect. So here we have a thermal and non-thermal effect. So in thermal effect, uh, that increment of the tissue temperature is produced in the thermal effect, which can lead to harmful consequences and because of the incapacity of homostatic system to like that. And after that, we have a non-thermal effects. So there is still uh, like that some uh, concerning uh, the harmful consequences for biological tissues, but to the date, there is no evidence of uh, kind of the things uh, they have found. So like that, but the thermal effect we have already found by using the mobile phone. So whenever we want to do the some practical, we just put the mobile phone uh, and uh, in any part of our body system. And after that, we can observe that the uh, range of the temperature. So uh, then after we have a specific absorption ratio, these are the some of the things we, uh, we should know, like the EM radiation absorption by the tissues and represent the amount of energy or some of the power. So a deposition per unit mass of biological tissue. So this is the power deposition per unit mass of the biological tissue. So we can uh, specific absorption ratio, or uh, we can just uh, by using this equation, we can found and each and every country have their own uh, value. So always this E is nothing but the electric field strength. A is nothing but the effective electrical conductivity. And after that, we have a, the Q is nothing but the uh, mass density of the tissue like that. And this is always kg per meter cube. So that um, uh, we get the um, body thermal sensors are located in the skin and do not readily detect the uh, warming of deep uh, area of the body. So therefore, significant amount of RF energy can be absorbed without it being Im immediately So uh, this, uh, these are the some of the kind of the thing we must know. So after that, we have a, a some uh, like the value of the SAR, SAR is computed in the EM solver and uh, these are the some of the mathematical equations. So we can uh, just go through that one. If we want, we, by using this one, we can uh, cal uh, calculate the SAR. Uh, so after that, we have a, some equation that is also related to the thermal evaluation. So like that, uh, we have uh, such kind of the mathematical equation. We also have a heat source like that. Uh, we can also utilize by equation we can calculate. So 
uh, these are the some of the mathematical equation by utilizing that equation we can calculate all the things in mathematics but nowadays we have a software we just simulate it and we can get the result and the the major thing is that we have also mathematics by using the mathematics we can verify it so now the some of the uh, guidelines given by the uh, this american national standards institute after that we have uh, the institute of electrical and electronics engineer okay and after that we have a uh, like international commission on non ionic radiation protection so these are the uh, we have a uh, some commission so they are giving us some of the uh, regulation measurement and all the things related to the sun so uh, these are the three basic em uh, we have to restrict like that so the current density like uh, go to the one hot to 10 megahertz after that we have a sar that it uh, it goes to the 100k to the 10 gigahertz after that we have a power density so these are the things we have to restrict otherwise it will adversely affect the human body so and this is the some of the ieee standard and the regulation for the public like the suppose we have a cubic mass like 10 g and then whole body average sar uh, weight per kg is a 0.08 and after that uh, these are the some of the uh, Uh, uh things given that head and trunk localized sar like this two and this one is four so these are the some of the standard we have to know at least and then after we can utilize uh, the designing of the biomedical application so after that uh, these are the some of the the regulation propose a limit to both the localized sar in a cube of 10 g of the tissue and the average sar over the whole body so automatically given in the uh, first this table so we can utilize this and these are the some of the federal communication commission they have given the maximum sar value is 1.6 watt per kg in a cube of 1 g tissue and european union they have given 2 uh, watt per kg average over a uh, 10 g of cube so like that they have their own standards our country have also uh, follow some of the standard like fcc 1.6 watt per gram in a cube of 1 gram of tissue so the challenges what are the challenges for the biomedical antenna so the challenges is first one we have to do the miniaturization so miniaturization is nothing but the in terms of the electrically small antenna so previously we are completely depend on the pfa like planar inverted f antenna but nowadays people are using a mandar line spiral kind of the thing so they are replacing just pfa to uh, such kind of the antenna but the thing is like that it must be electrically small antenna in terms of the bandwidth quality factor and gain gain also it also uh, play a huge role after that the things like that, the main objective of miniaturization process is to reduce the size of the antenna by using a meta material uh, we can go for that one also we can go for the pfa also so the pfa is nothing but the either it's single layer multiple layer or uh, like the uh, dipole loop 3d structure kind of the things comes under the miniaturization process the second thing is that we have a bio compatibility so it must be a bio compatibility nothing but the we must check the isolating the metallic radiator from the human tissues employing a bio compatibility substrate or superstrate so that is also mandatory the insertion of a thin layer of a low loss bio compatibility coating uh, is also required like the encapsulation so here uh, we are going to design one capsule here like that and inside that we are going to place our antenna and complete a pcb kind of the things okay and here we can insert in a human body so it is also possible the uh, these are the some of the criteria uh, we must know uh, whenever you are going to utilize a such kind of the bio compatibility so first thing is high permittivity is required so that the electric field strength 
we can minimize after that the uh, there is the low loss tangent it means uh, we uh, we don't require those material have a high uh, tangent uh, high losses uh, like that fr4 also after that generally we are going for the multi layer technology so multi layer this why the p5 is uh, using because it is nothing but the multi layer kind of the thing so suppose we have a tissue okay this is our tissue in body and in between we are going to insert our antenna so we always require a multi layer kind of the technology so that see here in in the first part we have our antenna last part we have in between we are going to insert it so these are the complete thing or uh, we can uh, do like uh, antenna that suppose this is the uh, body tissue this is also the body tissue okay this is a complete a body tissue here we are inserting our antenna to detect the uh, like any uh, thing is uh, happens here in the body part so we can detect so here we are inserting between the uh, tissue of the of our body so the multi layer technology is preferable because of the it uh, take a very less space compared to the single layer also the gain and uh, that input impedance bandwidth radiation efficiency all the things are good after that implantation of the internal pathway and cavity is also required because see if anything is there the cavity is always required uh, to work with the antenna after that we have a possibility of embedding integrated microstructures then after reliability in the manufacturing process durability is also required because if you are inserting the inside the antenna we can't uh, take antenna after 6 month or 1 year so the durability is most important part uh, for bio uh, uh, biomedical application whenever we are going to design our antenna after that uh, uh, this is some of the compatibility what i said that in the uh, one section i had already discussed only compatibility so here is nothing but the bio compatibility whenever if you see the suppose you are going to design the multi layer antenna and you are using a some of the substrate so that is uh, generally people are using the substrate like the ltcc so ltcc nothing but the low temperature co fired a ceramic kind of the things we are using suppose this is a different uh, here your blood is there here some uh, muscles is there so their dielectric constant is also different so what happens sometimes it is also going to excite this uh, blood and also this some of the muscles so that is why the bio compatibility is are required with the certain substrate so this ltcc is uh, people are using this substrate for application purpose while they are going to design biomedical so that is uh, known as the low temperature co fire ceramic so now uh, this uh, these are the some of the uh, dielectric constant okay so uh, here if you see the ltcc is nothing but the 7.8 and if you see the loss tangent is uh, compared to the less compared to any one the loss tangent is very less so that is why it is the most suitable and the people are using for designing uh, their antenna by using ltcc so now the next uh, we have also some equation to find the exact the uh, loss tangent and after that a uh, relative uh, permittivity of the material or here we go for the effective so he e here indicates the effective permittivity and the, these are the some of the f not fd are the some of the resonant frequency and after that uh, qd and q not is nothing but the quality factor so uh, these are the quality factor with and without dielectric substrate so then after the third thing is that we must know the operating frequency so which frequency we are going to work so here uh, generally uh, we are preferring the 4 uh, not 1 to 4 not 6 megahertz 4 uh, triple 3 sorry double 3 after that 860 to 960 megahertz then after 1.2 to 1.6 megahertz 2.4 to 2.5 and more than 3.5 uh, gigahertz uh, we are uh, doing for the medical application generally we are going uh, calling as the ism band it means industrial scientific and medical range so uh, people are going for that but 
if anyone want they can go for the millimeter uh, wave applications so uh, generally we have a, a milli, in the millimeter we have a prox like a uh, terahertz frequency band so that started 100 gigahertz to 3 gigahertz so that is also possible but one thing you should know that what is the effect what is the compatibility of the material what is the power you are going to supply on that antenna so that is why uh, people are more interest uh, they are giving a more interest to this frequency because all the people are working only this frequency and it is well known all the effects on the human body and all the study are available so that is why uh, they are preferring this one but once uh, one uh, if sub suppose someone want to work on terra it is also possible so they can go for that one. So these are the some of the field condition we know already the reactive field also the near because it is always a kind of the things we must uh, keep a uh, some distance whenever you are going to use the uh, small antenna the range is also uh, different and in this area up to here it is not going to radiate after that this area it is going to radiate so you should also know a, a little bit regarding the uh, field region so that your antenna is going to radiate otherwise uh, your antenna is not going to radiate. So uh, these are the some of the example of the uh, like spherical phantom. So uh, here we are inside. If you see here, this is antenna. Antenna we can also mount the antenna. Suppose see, I am just going to give one example. See, I am going to design one antenna here, and after that, if I am going to one antenna design here, and here I have cutted uh, some kind of the application here I have given the fit and now I want to fold it so up to here I can fold here also I can fold so whenever I am going to fold and people are using a wearable kind of the antenna the, the maximum width of the substrate is 0 0.2 mm so we can also uh, using the flexibility kind of the antenna, we can fold it and inside that capsule we can insert so such kind of the antenna uh, people are designing nowadays. So these are the sum of the uh, like the region of the antenna, the first reactive near field. Okay, so for this frequency range, we have a this one, uh, that frequency range, we have a this one like 2.45, we have a 3.2. So distance you already given and it also uh, give the sum of the Things like that, you, you must do reactive field, a radiative near field, and after that, what is the a transmitted field? That transition is going to happen. And after that, it is going to uh, uh, give the complete uh, scenario of our body. Uh, suppose you, if you design our one antenna and that is not going to radiate any signal, then it is not possible to know regarding the uh, uh, any defect in the human body. After that, if you see here, uh, why I said that it is not possible in a human body to uh, uh, complete and uh, do the analysis. So uh, see here, the, if it give the different, different, see the variation is there. If the variation is different, different. So that is why that uh, if you are going to use the reflection coefficient, it also uh, give the uh, different, different value. So for the risk, if you see here, here it is the risk. So for the risk, for the chest, so like that we have a such kind of the things and uh, uh, if you uh, observe like here uh, the uh, it always the working frequency of the wireless uh, biotelemetry system uh, like uh, becomes uh, uh, it always uh, depend on the location or whatever the things are there or we can say that uh, it depends on the the uh, value of the or property of the tissues the uh, that age of the individual it will also vary because i said that the tissue have uh, some different different dielectric constant so that is why if you see the input reflection coefficient it varies or uh, different different uh, value for giving the different different input reflection co coefficient so now the next one we have a powering system and I also said that the power must be, uh, suppose you are going to uh, give the power to any antenna. So it depends on the power, it will uh, go to the uh, distance far away. So I said that suppose uh, you are going to design one antenna, 
in place of 1 watt suppose you are going to give the 10 watt and after that you can see the properties of gain uh like input reflection coefficient uh, radiation field each and everything if you are going to identify so whenever you are going to give 1 watt power and whenever you are going to give the 10 watt power so the value is automatically different and the signal will go because here the signal strength is more it will go far away here the signal strength is low it will go a nearby compared to the 10 watt so whatever the scr guidelines is there it means 0.6 you have to provide 0.6 watt that mandatory you have to follow scr guidelines otherwise it um, it will harm some other tissue that is present in our body system so the powering system is most important part for our antenna whenever you are inserting inside the body after that here we have a two kind of the powering system energy harvesting and after that one of passive technology so passive technology nothing but the rfid kind of the thing and uh, energy harvesting is nothing but the uh, rectina kind of the thing it can transmit it can or uh, receive the power and we can receive the power we can utilize some other purpose so that is comes under the energy harvesting then after we have a radiation pattern so uh, that is also important because uh, we have to decide our antenna uh, should be a particular direction that must be a directive part uh, we don't want antenna radiate anywhere because uh, we are tracking we are going to track our antenna like the in the tower system if you see that is always a particular direction either it, uh, uh, either horizontal or vertical direction it is not like that circular polarized it means it will radiate the power but in at the same time in our mobile have a, a like the uh, uh, omni directional antenna but here we need always direction antenna whenever you are going to use the omni direction antenna it means the power is going to distribute in all the direction and the purpose is not going to full but in the mobile it is okay but in human being it is also um, a damage the tissue so for that purpose generally we are using a direction antenna a particular direction it will radiate so the next one efficiency is also required without efficiency uh, uh, it is are not possible to get the exact signal so that is also uh, required so here and then after the packaging uh, we have to give a, a good pack uh, like that uh, like uh, we have to use the encapsulation so that our packaging like that the placement of electronic components is an important factor in the design of antenna to be used in the medical devices so in the previous slide we have already seen such kind of the capsule are there inside that we are going to place a complete electronic segments that is pcb and after that our antenna also so the major thing is that the antenna antenna because the main thing we have to minimize the height of the antenna length width and also height and after that we have to uh, Uh, means we have we want a good performance of antenna like uh, we need a a good matching we need a gain also we need a good radiation efficiency we are going to provide here a very less power that is given by the specific regulator like european union and fcc so uh, several constraint are there by using the antenna suppose your antenna is not going to or radiate so what happened there is the no uses of all the thing so that is why here in the biomedical application antenna play a major important part or major it play a major role for the biomedical application so packaging is also required so generally people are i said that people are using ltcc technology and in body antenna design with the packaging uh, they are preferably this ltc um, uh, material after that we have a some antenna modeling so we all know that uh, we have a modeling like cst then after we have a uh, hfss feco a uh, several kind of the modeling are there so uh, people are uh, preferring it depends on the uh, their uses or depends on their license so they can use anything but result is not going to change the cst is based on the generally uh, time domain and hfss is based on the frequency domain so whenever you, uh, we are going to design the antenna it will not affect and after that also we have a some like 
एफ डी टी डी दैट इज नोन एज द फाइनाइट डिफरेंस टाइम डोमेन एंड इट इज बेस्ड ऑन द डी डी नथिंग बट द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन आफ्टर दैट वी हैव एफ आई टी इज ऑल्सो मेथड ऑल टेक्निक नोन एज द फाइनाइट इंट्रोगेशन टेक्निक एंड इट इज बेस्ड ऑन आई ई आई नथिंग बट द इंट्रीगल इक्वेशन आफ्टर दैट वी हैव मेथड ऑफ मोमेंट्स and that is also based on the integral equation and after that we have a fem that is known as the finite element method okay hfs is based on a fem and it uh, it based on the differential equation so these are the antenna modeling and uh, depends on the software uh, we can utilize any one we can also verify the result is not going to change so now uh, then after we have a a uh, antenna fabrication so uh, i said that the, it is a most important part to choose the subset in which the loss tangent is very less so we have a low temperature co fired ceramic that is a uh, lt fc uh, so we can use this oh, sorry ltcc uh, we can use for uh, antenna fabrication purpose so that the loss tangent is uh, almost Uh, like a zero point zero zero five kind of the thing. So now the next one is that we have a antenna characterization also. So gain uh, by using this equation we can measure the gain and uh, antenna in the antenna characterization uh, like uh, we can see the uh, radiation efficiency in all the things. The next part is that uh, we have a sub human modeling. Whenever we are going to utilize uh, this antenna inside the body, so. better to previously we have to check it in the human body so that is nothing but the uh, phantom is nothing but the human model okay firstly uh, somebody have already designed and now people are using to design the human uh, like the human model or phantom so csd have already designed their own human phantom or human model so uh, in 1960 also people have already designed so uh, these are the things they have designed and uh, see the it is like that we have a uh, some kind of the uh, geometry and depends on the geometry we have a uh, phantom dimensions okay based on that we have uh, its volume and implant depth so these are the and then after what is the uh, phantom tissue so uh, these are the some of the specification and the frequency range so here the frequency range phantom geometry phantom dimension phantom volume implant and after that we have a phantom this so uh, we already the people have already designed okay so if we want to use we just choose the frequency of operation we just choose the shape of the geometry we just choose the volume of all the things are fixed we could not change because uh, it will take a huge time to design a any human model it is not a easy process so better to if we want to use we directly go uh, and take the value take the frequency of operation take the dimensions take the geometry and uh, take the volume complete volume what is and after that what is the implant depth how much depth you want to put this uh, suppose you your antenna is there so antenna is always uh, you have to fix how much depth it is required okay so and then after uh, what is the tissue so this is the muscles kind of the things skin kind of the things bone kind of the thing skin muscles so all the things are already developed and they have given here in the table so now uh, we have uh, some of the human body models uh, like the uh, dielectric property of the tissue at the different frequency band uh, so it will also vary uh, so here we have a dielectric constant here we have a conductivity so see here the frequency depends on the frequency the skin after that for after that uh, muscles and then after bone so these are the things are there so now we have a, a, a like the realistic or some phantoms are there we have so a uh, work uh, like that this uh, some of the models are given okay some of the medical profession they have given some of the uh, models so this is the first available models uh, like the human models was uh, given by the uh, this man and it is the visible man project in 19 uh, 1994 so see here uh, this is the some of the uh, uh, given that 
uh, like the uh, human model. So the first thing is this one and the next thing. Is Nowadays, uh, several people have already designed. So depends on the usage. So these are the some of the visible human projects, Japanese like that, virtual and CST like SAM. So etc. people are uh, now they, they are designing uh, based on their uses. So uh, we have also uh, these are the some of the experimental uh, phantoms like the in vitro ex vivo and in vivo testing. So I uh, see here and uh, this is some uh, some of the researchers they have designed. So this is the way to test in vitro because we must need a liquid. Okay, half of the part we need a liquid and after that we are going to put our antenna inside that one. And uh, so this is known as the in vitro. And after that, uh, we have a like the ex vivo testing. So in the ex vivo testing, generally uh, we are using uh, such kind of the things. Our uh, tissue has been tested in the various medical applications such as microwave hyperthermia and microwave ablation as well as implantable biotelemetry. So uh, they are using such kind of the thing. The third one is we have a in vivo testing. So see here, this is the nothing but the muscles. Okay, so here uh, we are placing our uh, antenna system. So uh, various studies have investigated the implantation of in-body antenna in living animal to the achieve more realistic scenario in their validation test. So in vivo testing is to access the factor that influence measurements in the surgical procedures. So these are the things we have a three different measurement process. So first one we have a like the vitro. So for that we are going to use a solid phantom. And after that we have a the next one ex vivo. And in that uh, uh, for the various medical purpose, like uh, we uh, we have uh, some um, uh, kind of the pork and some other kind of the things. So chicken or okay, something is there. So like that uh, we can find the uh, by using this ex vivo. After that we have a in vivo testing. So uh, we have a uh, study like this. Uh, we can go and we can test it. So now the next uh, the uh, the. Uh, Part four is that uh, we have uh, how to implement uh, in-body antenna design. I said that in the um, at the starting point or after that we need a miniaturization. Okay, in the part three also I have discussed the miniaturization is mandatory for the antenna design. So here I have just uh, taken one of the uh, already paper published in 2004 and see yeah uh, 2004 so implant implanted antennas inside a human body so simulation design and characterization is already given so first thing uh, we are going to use a uh, ltcc i also said that ltcc nothing but the low temperature co-fired ceramic because uh, this uh, it is used to achieve a good result also we don't have a uh, loss tenure so that is why we are going to utilize the next thing we are going to use the PIFA. PIFA, I said that PIFA is nothing but the we are miniaturizing the antenna in terms of the planar inverted F antenna for the miniaturization purpose. After that, we have a uh, suitable uh, PIFA design in terms of the size and efficiency. After that, we have a, a final design with other miniaturized method and design. So the next thing is that uh, we have a, some extra design okay so in this paper they have given us such kind of the design so the proposed antenna were embedded inside an ltcc dielectric subset that uh, dielectric constant is 6.6 .6. conductivity is given 0 0.0003 uh, siemens per meter so like that uh, they have given uh, this design and the feeding is like that if i'm going to show uh, this one uh, like we need see here it is look like the f so the first thing we should know the f shape okay f shape and after that we are going to invert it and next thing that we are need a planner so these uh, four things we required first thing we must know the uh, that antenna like f or you can take uh, any coil and just uh, attach with the coaxial feed 
so it will give the l shape after that you can sort it here so only sorting the line so it makes the f that is known as simple inverted f antenna whenever you are going to place a complete substrate and after that it comes under the planner so that is the difference between all these things and now if you see here it behaves like the planner okay so planner inverted f antenna it behaves if you are going to remove the substrate and you are just going to use the coaxial feed okay it is also possible coaxial feed you are not going to uh, see uh, here you are not going to put the sorting so what will it will go to act as a simple inverted l antenna whenever you are going to put the sorting it acts as the inverted f antenna and whenever you are going to put the complete uh, shaded or complete things then it called as the planner so these are the uh, things they have utilized here so now they have used only this one and uh, we can do the miniaturization by using the uh, some kind of the spiral kind of the thing so by using such a uh, uh, things we can see here the length and width 29 mm and 27 mm by using a spiral kind of the things here we can reduce the electrical size or as well as physical size of our antenna like 13 mm and 14 mm so and then after we see the uh, 3d model so here the first thing is that we need a coaxial feed we don't require any other feed like we have a micro strip feed we have a a cpw feed we have a aperture coupling uh, we have a several other kind of the thing but it uh, that will not provide a such kind of the miniaturization because we need a miniaturization that is why we are utilizing the coaxial probe so now by simulation of this one uh, we are getting the uh, frequency range approximately 400 gigahertz so that is the useful <clears throat> and here also we can check the variation whenever you are going to uh, decrease or increase the width of the uh, that uh, uh, antenna uh, that that is known as the generally uh, radiating so it will always affect see here the maximum width is 4 mm and the minimum 1 mm so it directly affect the matching of our antenna and also the um, also the uh, gain of our antenna so if you see here now okay the graph is not given you can uh, you can just simulate it if the graph graph will automatically uh, decrease the value whenever you are going to increase the gain will increase and also it will shift the lower frequency band after that if you see here uh, we have a two kind of the thing first one is the spiral kind of the thing so it will in indicate the spiral or if you can go the mender line it will also possible to reduce the size of the antenna or to miniaturize the size and use the one coaxial another one for the uh, feeding purpose so now uh, we have a also some other combination by utilizing that one we can miniaturize our antenna uh, that is mender line after that hilbert fractal and uh, such kind of the things are there then after if you see uh, the influence of phantoms on in body antenna so whenever you are going to design antenna simple antenna and you are testing that is the performance is different but whenever you are going to put uh, inside the body the performance is different because at at the same time i what i said that at the same time you are also going to face a some dielectric constant that is nearby of this antenna so the uh, the dielectric constant here we are taking a uh, like ltcc that of uh, 6.6 and uh, the loss tendency is 0.005 kind of the thing but whenever you are going to put inside the body so the another dielectric constant will act and i also say that whenever the things is happen it uh, give the some coupling some coupling kind of the thing that is called as the infringing fields and that couple the nearby conducting material and that is also act as the source and uh, it will damage some other thing so better to we have to minimize the power level as per the regulation given by the fcc or european union and then after we are going to put inside the Uh, a human model and then after we are going to put a uh, uh, in the real uh, uh, real time application so this is the spiral um, square spiral antenna and after that see uh, these are the uh, different different uh,
uh, things like that. So uh, we can use for the cylindrical, spherical, and cube anywhere. We, uh, if we want, we can use it. So now uh, here, uh, this is the uh, like that the size and uh, the cylindrical, the geometry of the phantom. And after that, whatever you have designed, either you can place a vertical or uh, sorry, uh, yeah, this is the horizontal or parallel kind of the things, and this one is the vertical or perpendicular kind of the thing. So you can place your antenna either this way or this way, both will work. Now, these are the some of the uh, spiral P5 prototype at the different frequency range. So uh, whenever you, if you want, you can design and it will give the exact of frequency like 403, 866 and 204 point. So all the things are, see in the micro strip, uh, we have a some formula, we can calculate it, but for the miniaturization, we don't have any concept. So we go for the optimization process. So it depends on you, uh, which kind of the optimization you are going, uh, you are going to prefer either spiral or mender or some other factor kind of the thing. So these are the, if you see the spiral, if you are going to um, do it, the more the uh, it will give the uh, some different uh, frequency band. So these are the some of the things uh, we should know at least. And the frequency is always fixed, so we should design for that frequency band only. We could not design any other frequency band that is not relevant to biomedical applications. So uh, see, this is the some of the implanted antenna. Okay, so this is the some of the uh, human body example, and we are going to put it this one. So these are the some of the external dipole and all the things. So now, uh, what is the uh, result and discussion like that? Uh, we must know the uh, like that antenna volume after that what is the miniaturization method and how the effective current flow path has been increased okay so miniaturization is nothing but we are increasing just the current path and uh, that is uh, done by the stacking multi uh, multiple radiating patches or mentoring or spiral or or any other methods whatever the suitable is there we just want to increase the path so that we can get the maximum radiation and the technology used to the manufacture the prototype is nothing but the electrical property of the substrate and design constant. Some of the things are there. After that, we have a electrical properties of the selected phantoms and its homogeneity. I also said that uh, here also electrical properties, uh, electromagnetic interference or electromagnetic compatibility, the things uh, will automatically come here in terms of the bio compatibility. In the previous, I just discussed the electromagnetic in terms of the electronic devices if present. And uh, whenever we are going to inserting the antenna, it is not like an antenna we are going to insert. Inside that, we need a PCB. And that filter attenuation, that modulator and the ICs, and several kinds of the things are there. So for that purpose, we need a electrical properties of each and every component, those who are going to insert. And after that, uh, this Phantom shape and dimension is also important part. We determine the amount of lossy medium surrounding the antenna. So, and then after implant depth is also important part. How much, you are, uh, how much depth you are going to put your antenna, which indicates where, uh, whether the air tissue interface is the near field or far field region. So, uh, these are the some of the example that uh, people have already designed. These are the antenna. So. We see the volume and after that the phantom size, uh, what is the uh, phantom size and after that what is the implant depth. So this is the depth like 7 mm, uh, 5 mm, 10 mm, 20 mm kind of the things are there and after that this is the gain. Gain should be always negative otherwise if you think about that gain should be positive it means you are going to damage the human body. So it always the negative. If more negative, it means it is good. Like the C here, minus 40, minus 30, it is good for the human body. So volume is uh, 200. After that, phantom is like that uh, 100 cross, 100 cross, 100 cubic. And after that, what is the uh, size and implant depth is 10 mm. And again, and after that, radiation. So these are the several researchers. They have done their work. So this is the sum of the example. Implant depth, uh, uh, see, this is the variation like uh, you are going to put, a, suppose here, here the human body is there, you are going to just touch it. So it, it gives the this one uh, input impedance and after that, suppose you are going to insert a more and more like 2 mm, 5 mm or 10 mm. So it, it automatically it will going to give a, 
a good uh, return loss or input uh, impedance binding so like that gain is also gain is also like that so uh, we can vary uh, whenever we are going to utilize the antenna for the biomedical applications we have to do it some of the uh, like optimization process where we are going to put if you are going to put at the zero means we are just touching the human body it will not going to excite so that is why mostly the power is reflected back if you see here the power is not going to transmit it it is reflected back complete power whatever you are giving the input whenever you are going to put the 2 5 and 10 and then after it is uh, radiating so that is why we are getting the uh, good impedance matching at least here so and then after this is nothing but the um, radiation pattern for the 2d radiation pattern so if you see what i said that uh, we are not going to use Uh, that antenna uh, for uh, whatever we are using for biomedical application that antenna must be a, a directional it is not a like omi direction pattern if you see here it is like a, some a directional antenna so here it is the maximum and here it is null it is giving the null uh, depends on the either broadside or n fire so suppose uh, this is the broadside in the broadside it is giving the maximum of radiation so that is uh, going to Uh, uh suppose uh, we have a mobile phone we can track it in this side only and if you are going to uh, give uh, like n fire so this is null uh, nothing signal will come here the that is uh, role of the uh, this uh, radiation pattern and after that we have uh, some variation also we can use phantom shape uh, so it will also affect like the uh, implant depth it will affect the a uh, power uh, matching and impedance matching it is affecting same thing also uh, we can absorb by varying the phantom shapes and after that if you are going to uh, rotate the antenna means antenna orientation either 0 degree 10 degree 15 20 or 360 it depends on you or you can directly put on horizontal or vertical it is also affect the radiation pattern and the power also because whenever you are going to put the major lobe is give the major power so suppose if you are uh, if you see in the towering system also if uh, they are just putting the antenna like here if tower is there they are putting here they are not putting on the top of the tower so the antenna will radiate up direction so like that the orientation is also matters after that we have a frequency band in which frequency band you are uh, we are going to utilize for biomedical application that will also affect because if you see here this frequency band is changing previously suppose if this is working at 410 gig um, yeah 410 megahertz this is working approx of 400 megahertz so like that we have to know which frequency band we are going to use for biomedical application otherwise uh, if you see like that in our mobile phone we are also using the mobile phone but each and every one is using their own frequency range it is not like that if suppose the uh, frequency uh, suppose the uh, 4g the frequency started like the uh, uh, 2.3 gigahertz so it is not like that we all are receiving a same frequency we all are receiving a different different frequency of fraction of frequency that is known as some frequency swapping so like here also for we need a exact frequency in which frequency we are going to use so exact frequency is always required for the biomedical purpose also so here uh, uh, based on the implant depth we are using that one here also we can go for the frequency band so and then after anatomical model is also uh, so these all are affected uh, uh, all the matching and gain also all the things so uh, i don't have time but i have a uh, the something uh, like that i can show you by using the hfss okay so the uh, next one is also uh, we can observe here so if you see here the first one is the muscle after that fat and inside that if you see the antenna is there and and downside the skin is there so uh, we can directly observe here see here this is the our antenna inside the uh, here in the head so like that uh, we can utilize so this paper is published um, in 2015 so i have just kept this one so uh, these are the uh, references so now so thank you everyone
So now, uh, dear participant, you have a question you can ask me.